Hi, this is Uncle Stephen again. Now, I'm not against people being a Christian. Now, I'm a Christian. I believe in God, but I have my problems with religion. And the reason I have problems with religion is because I have, I'm a nonconformist. I don't conform to the way people believe. You know, I want to talk to you about apostolic religions and Pentecostal religions. They take one scripture, one scripture, and they use that for the basis on their whole religion. Okay, the Pentecostals believe and the Apostolics believe in one scripture. And it's uh, it's Acts two thirty eight, and then Acts two thirty eight, and I've got it right here in front of me. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, the apostolics believe, and this is an opinion, opinion, that you're going to speak in tongues. It doesn't say that. It says you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It doesn't say that you're going to speak in tongues. I'm laughing at them because they don't even know. They assume that speaking in tongues is what you're going to do. Their opinion, again, opinion, opinion. That's what this means, opinion, is that you're going to speak in tongues. That's not true. Yet Peter, this is the same Peter that denied Christ three times. Three times. And he was a sinner. You know, when it comes to religion, don't base your beliefs on one scripture. It's just like the Baptist. They have a belief in one scripture, and I'll read it to you in a minute. Okay, I don't have that in scripture in front of me, but in the Bible it says that once you're saved, you're always saved. See, this is what the Southern Baptists believe. But it doesn't say, and a lot of Southern Baptists and Baptist period use opinion, that no matter what you do wrong, no matter what you, whether you do right, I'm going to heaven because once I'm saved, I'm always saved. But what does it say that in the Bible? It doesn't say that in the Bible. Again, that's opinion. See, I don't understand religions because religions use opinion for everything. So today's world, we live in a society where people use opinion to believe what they believe. That doesn't mean they're right. It doesn't mean they're wrong. It just means they're using their opinion instead of what God says. Read your Bible before you go into a religion that says, once saved, always saved, or uh, or says where it says uh, in Acts 2.38 where you shall receive the Holy Ghost. What's receiving the Holy Ghost? What do you mean? You're going to receive the Holy Ghost? It doesn't say you're going to speak in tongues. The Bible talks about many, many, many different gifts of the Spirit. Not everyone's going to speak in tongues. You know, I'm not an atheist, and I believe in God, okay? And I believe in what's right and wrong. But I don't believe in religions that don't know what God is about. Instead of using opinions for everything, read the Bible. I believe in the Bible. I believe in God's Word. Read the Bible. What does that say? Holy Bible, right? It says Holy Bible, correct? Now, I'm not an atheist. Atheists are going to say that this book here is a sham. But that's their opinion. So before you join any kind of religion or anything else, go to church to serve the Lord, not to serve them, not to be a part of their group. You go to church to serve the Lord. Each religion has doctrine that's absolutely wrong. And that's why I don't agree. That's why I don't agree to going to church to certain churches because I don't believe in the way they teach. This is my second video for today on on two twelve two thousand seventeen at nine nineteen a.m. I want to let you know that as you as a as a person in the United States of America, you have constitutional rights and you have a right to disagree with any religion including and not limited to apostolics, 
Pentecostal, Baptist, Methodist, Catholic, and including and not limited to, limited to, um, I'm trying to think, um, atheists. Because each one of them all use their opinion about what's right and wrong. So I want to make sure when you when join a religion that you decide what's best for you. And only let God lead you to the right church. Don't be under someone's thumb. You decide how you want to do your life. Because I'm not here to convert you. I'm not here to tell you that you're wrong or you're right. Just be careful when you join a church. And decide what you want to think is right and wrong. Because if you disagree with something, that is your right. The first constitution of the United States says freedom of speech, freedom of religion. What does that mean? That each church doesn't have a right to tell you that they're correct. Because who would, if we lived in a world where churches run the world and everything, one church would run everything and everybody would be a slave. I don't believe in being a slave. You know, this, con this country believes that says that we don't have a right to have slaves anymore. We haven't had slaves before, before uh, we haven't had slaves since 1865 or 1864. Our president, you know, um, Abraham Lincoln, stopped slavery. If we had it the church's way, the church would make all of us slaves to their religion. That's why I don't believe in the freed. I don't believe in church religion because religion is wrong. Only God is correct. I don't believe in those things. Maybe God doesn't want. I'll go to church. But I'm not going to sit there and bow down to someone I disagree with. It is my constitutional rights under the Freedom of Speech Act and the Freedom of Religion Act to be able to, dis to agree or disagree. So, y'all have a good day. I'm going to try not to do any more videos for the day. But I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to go exercise today at Eastern New Mexico University. And I want y'all to have a good time. Don't take everything I say as literally. Y'all have a good day, and God bless.